folks in a few hours, winter, gone, spring, we'll be here. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and so for a lot of people, that means it is time to get the garden growing. Jesse yes. Schultz is live at the Petiti Garden Center in Bainbridge. Jesse, uh, talk to us about veggies. That's what we can get cooking right now. Exactly. Well, I'm back here with Ken and we are talking all things spring, but he says a big trend that Petitis has seen is people wanting to grow their own veggies and herbs, but just because it's cold doesn't mean that they can't start that right now. And they're actually, he was telling me there are some vegetables that you probably should start right now. So talk to us about that. Sure. If you want to start vegetables, now is an op optimum time. Um, peppers are one of the slowest plants to come up. So you want to start your peppers early mid-March right now. Um, right after that, you want to go with tomatoes. Um, you could do basil, a lot of different herbs cilantro. Um, things you don't want to start inside are things like cucumbers, zucchini, any of your vining plants. So those, if you're going to start them two weeks before you're going to plant them outside. Generally in Ohio, our frost free date is around May 15th or so. So you want to kind of time everything to, to be going out in the ground at that point. All right. So, so how would you do it if you were going to do it at home? Sure. So what you have, um, we've got some great biodegradable pots. Okay. So you can go and just fill them with a good um, seed starting soil. Put a couple Good. seeds in the pod. Generally one or two is all you want to do. If you put more than that, they'll kind of choke each other out. Um, and then what you do is you go and you lightly moisten the soil, put some seeds just a little bit underneath the soil, like a quarter of an inch, very, very, you know, shallow. Um, to keep, put them in a bright window, sunny area, mm -hmm. and just watch them come up. And then you can eventually transplant those into the ground when it gets a little bit warmer out? Exactly. When you get in the mid-May on um, these peat pots, you don't even have to take them out of the pot. You just plant the whole pot in the ground. It breaks down um, over the course of the spring, and the plant just takes off growing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ken. And you heard the man. It's time to uh, get a plant in for all of these vegetables that are good to plant inside. So for now, we are live at Petiti Garden Center. Jesse Schultz, News 5. Yeah, it got me inspired. Maybe I'm going to grow yes. some mint and some cilantro. Grow for two, please. Yeah. Okay. You know what I love too about Jesse's? I love the vice there, but I love the sound of birds chirping in the background too. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes. They do have a Setting lot of birds here. Yeah. Jesse, thank you. <laughs> Time right now.